I'll never get used to this. It's another cross. At least this one has some jewels on it, right? Whoa, whoa, don't touch it. What? Why? Look at it. It's the only valuable thing we've seen in this cave. Right. This is another test. Agreed. Yeah. Well, lack thereof. Okay. So. It's, it's gotta be the coins. Are we sure about this? I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure we'll have to do. Right, just, just one now. Agreed. I got it. Recognize the shape? It's Madagascar. Look, star right here. It's Kings Bay. Yes, it is. <laughs> Son of a bitch. He's screwing with us. What are you talking about? Avery, he's screwing with us. This was supposed to be it, so where's the goddamn treasure, huh? I mean, Kings Bay, great. Well, what's next? North Pole? Outer space? Nathan. For those who prove worthy, paradise awaits. He, he was recruiting. Who was recruiting? Avery was recruiting. Recruiting for what? <laughs> <laughs> You gentlemen are very, very noisy. Guns on the floor. Slowly. Must have you from last time. Yeah, throwing me out a window didn't do it for you? Rafe. Rafe, come in. I'm at the graveyard. Nadine, hey, we're here. Yeah, I'm looking at them right now. What? Where are you? Come back to the cathedral. Follow the holes. I'm on my way. And for God's sakes, don't shoot him yet. <sighs> Not want to hurry then. Kings Bay. Yeah, but uh, where in Kings Bay? You'll need that cross over there to figure it out. But there's only two people that can tell you how to use it. Let me guess. You two. I'm gonna leave it to Rafe. You're gonna be waiting a long time. Sorry, boys. I'm not here to negotiate. Bring me the crucifix. It's not a crucifix. What? Well, technically, a crucifix refers to a cross that. You know what? Never mind. Don't touch it! <laughs> Come on. 
Story. Short version is get us the hell out of here. Yeah, drink it. Hold tight.
expect to land up here? Can you make it down to the water? Yeah, set her down. One way or another, we'll get to you. Keep running! Don't stop! Kind of. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes, definitely. Wasn't Victor saying the weather is lovely this time of year? I can't see shit. Just keep heading down until we hit the water. This one, huh? Just shut up my goddamn plane, Nate. We're fine, thanks. How soon can you get us to Madagascar? No treasure, then. Not yet. I don't know what you're talking about. Look, we're rich. Jesus. Suppose it's a start. Do you think the rest is in Madagascar? Well, there was a chamber back there with a giant map of Madagascar on the floor, so... Yeah, it's probably there. This is beginning to smell a whole lot like wild goose, kid. Look, the treasure was never in Scotland, okay? Then what was the point of all that, huh? Of the St. Dismas Look, Cross? it's like I said. I think Avery was recruiting people. The cross was an invitation. The caves were just some sort of uh, initiation. Oh, so we all passed, huh? Congrats, Victor. We get eye patches and parrots now. I don't get it. Why the hell would they go to all that bother just to weed people out? To protect themselves. Look, Avery was the most wanted man in the world at that time. He had to enlist people that he could trust in order to keep their treasure secret. What do you mean, their treasure? Just think about this. Thomas II was a successful pirate in his own right. What would he possibly stand to gain from joining Avery? 
I think Avery sent out crosses only to the other wealthy pirates like himself. What if they pooled and hid all their treasure together? That would make the Gunsway Hall look like chump change. Exactly. Oh, holy shit. Okay, so we're exactly in Madagascar. Are we going? Kings Bay. It was an old pirate haven back in uh, Avery's time. I know it well. It's a big place. Anything more specific? Well, that map chamber completely caved in, so, you know. <laughs> what are you laughing about? The people who survived the caves, the recruits. What's the one thing they would have left with? There's a volcano on this. There's a volcano near King's Bay. Which means we need to get a move on. Hey. Hey, Nate. Hi, honey. Oh, hi. I've been trying to get a hold of you. Are you okay? Yeah, of course. What do you mean? Oh, you know the news? There's been all that flooding. Maybe going to Malaysia during the monsoon season wasn't such a good idea. Yeah, right. Right, yeah, it, uh, it grounded us for sure. You know, had some equipment failure, but, you know, no one's hurt or anything. Well, as long as you guys are safe. So are you going to start work tomorrow? Uh, postponed, actually. Uh, looks like we're going to need maybe another 10 days or so. Ugh, 10 days? Hey, well, I, why don't I just uh, go ahead and buy a ticket then? Uh, you know, you don't have to do that. That's fine. I mean, you know, these guys always overestimate things. I'm, I'm sure it'll be less time than that. Okay, well, you know, don't rush. Make sure that you're safe. Oh, I will. Always do. Uh, listen, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I gotta go. Jameson's calling me over. Okay. I love you. Love you, too. Satellite saying, Victor? Right now, not a goddamn thing. I've lost the signal. Hey, you know what never loses signal? Paper. All right, this route right here should take us straight to the volcano. Might get a little bumpy, though. Let's get the show on the road. Okay. All right. So, what are we looking for out here? Well, the map shows all these structures around the volcano. Abandoned outposts, a handful of watchtowers. Watchtowers? Yeah, Avery was the most wanted man in the world. So if he was hiding something out here, it makes sense he'd need lookouts. One of those towers is right on the volcano. With Avery's treasure. We see some ruins up ahead. Wait here. I'll go take a look. Oh, Victor, you still do a lot of traveling these days? Yeah, I try. I tend to pick jobs that get me away from the computer. Yeah, I was telling Nathan, it's shocking how much of the business has moved to the internet. I mean, I bet you have all sorts of options to get rid of hard time well. Yeah, sure, but I prefer talking to clients face to face. Get a good read on them. Hard to do that in a chat room, talking to some guy named Antiquity Master 37. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. See here. Well, ah, nothing worthwhile. Come on, let's keep going. 
Hey, so with our luck, what are the odds this volcano is going to erupt on us? Zero. It's extinct. Trust me, that's the first thing I looked up when we said we were heading for a volcano. That and where to rent the cheapest 4x4. Four four. Wait, Sully, you're telling me that you actually did some research? Can't let you be the know-it-all every time you That bridge there is what you would call rickety. Uh, this looks promising. Come on, come on, baby. Let's go, 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 go. Made it. Okay, kid. Just don't drop us. I just keep it slow. Keep it in the center. Yeah, there's a lot of backseat driving going on. Ah! We're good. Everything's good. Jesus Christ. Onward and upward. We're getting nowhere fast. Let's not get stuck here. We need traction here. Nathan the rocks. Slip and slide. <laughs> I got it. I got it. All right, hang on, guys. Okay, I think I'm getting the hang of this. There we go. <laughs> Don't spin out now. <coughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, my spine. Look, tire tracks. Someone came up this way. Hey, look up there on the hill. Got a tower or something. Now we're talking. Hey, Victor, what were you arguing with the rental guy? Oh, your brother insisted on getting a 4x4 four four with a winch. So you sprung for the winch, but you couldn't spring for the suspension. I got it. Hey, it's important. It's going off-road. It might rain, might be muddy. How about we go through this whole goddamn thing and never use that winch? Take this slow, kid. Yeah. So, Nathan, you're thinking Avery, too, and some other big shot pirates pulled their treasure and came out here because... Why, exactly? Who knows? Maybe for protection? British authorities were closing in on them. Sure. Maybe, uh, he helped them disappear. I mean... The guy clearly had a knack for hiding things.
go check out that tower. I'll come with. It's in pretty good shape for something several hundred years old. Yeah. Definitely ruins from Avery's era. Sam, look. That's Christopher Condon's sigil. He's uh, captain of the Fiery Dragon, operated out of Madagascar around Avery's time. So maybe Avery recruits pirate captains to what be his lookouts? That don't make any sense. No, it doesn't. Well, maybe each captain was responsible for a tower, along with providing the men for it. Whatever the case, this certainly isn't our final stop on our tour. Let's go check out that tower. I'll come with. It's in pretty good shape for something several hundred years old. Yeah. There's definitely ruins from Avery's era. Sam, look. That's Christopher Condon's sigil. He's uh, captain of the Fiery Dragon, operated out of Madagascar around Avery's time. So maybe Avery recruits pirate captains. What be his lookouts? That don't make any sense. No, it doesn't. Well, maybe each captain was responsible for a tower, along with providing the men for it. Whatever the case, this certainly isn't our final stop on our tour. Got some big plans for this winch. than it looks. All right, ready? Give it a shot. Here we go. Steady. Steady. <laughs> See, Sully? 
winch. Totally worth it. We cleared a hill. It hasn't exactly paid for itself. Well, yeah. Small victories. Yeah, well, I'll celebrate the big ones. Feast your eyes, gentlemen. Wow. Spectacular. Just imagine, you've come here, a well-to-do pirate far away from your oppressive government. Ha, <laughs> poor oppressed pirates. All they wanted to do was to murder and pillage in peace. No, no, they wanted to live as free men. Well, if you're gonna pick a place to run away from society, you could do a lot worse than here. It's taken forever to get to this volcano. Patience, Victor, patience. Do you know how those pirates got here? They had to start in England, sail to Brazil, then cut back across the Atlantic to South Africa. Sam. And they figured all that out with paper, charts, and by looking at the stars. Hey, you're describing sailing to a former squid. The point is, we got it pretty easy. Yeah, well, still taking a long time. Hey, Nathan, check out that cave there. How oh, would you look at that? Oh, shit! Stop! Stop! I see him. What do we got? Military types poking around. Nadine's guys? Yep. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Looks like they found an old colony outpost. But the wrong one, right? That's the good news. Yeah, that means it's bad news. The only route to the volcano is straight through them. Oh, shit. We do have the drop on them. What's the play here, Nathan? Just follow my lead. Shoreline goons.
Okay. I think that's it. God damn it. Ray and Nadine must have dozens of guys like that. They, they could just stumble onto the treasure through blind luck. <clears throat> Again with the winch, Sully. Pretty handy, right? I wasn't against getting the winch. I was against getting ripped off. Let's not get stuck here. Sully, just how well do you know Nadine? Why? I was thinking maybe you can contact her, convince her to call off her goons. <laughs> yeah, right. What if we promise her a bigger cut than Ray? No, that's not how she operates. She's more of a money-up-front kind of mercenary. The rape's got the advantage there. Look, shoreline. Yeah, they're definitely going all in, aren't they? And getting awful close to that volcano. Singing the same damn thing. What if they found the treasure already? Well, look, they're searching every inch of this place. If they'd found it already, they wouldn't be searching. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Hey, Sam, you don't mind me asking, how'd you pass the time in prison? Uh, you know, reading, mostly. There was this one guard saw me as a charity case, I guess. He had to check out books from the library for me. So what'd you read? <laughs> History, uh, especially anything related to Avery and other pirates. Just in case, you know. Sure. But, you know, besides books, push-ups, smoking, trying to stay out of fights between rival gangs, it's a whole lot of thinking. Pretty much it. Sam, if you had a guard doing you favors, why didn't you use him to get word to us? Oh, I tried. I asked him to mail a letter to your P.O. box. I never got it. That would be because the warden saw it. I got busted up pretty bad. Never saw that guard again. Jesus. I got my own back when the warden decided to room me with Alcazar. That didn't turn out how he expected. You know, come to think of it, I actually dealt with Alcazar a few decades ago, even before I met you two. Oh, shit. How are you still alive? Well, he wasn't quite the man he is today. Still working his way up the criminal ladder then. I sold his boss a few woodcut prints I'd smuggled out of Japan. He was into shoguns and such. Alcazar was the go-between. What was he like? Soft-spoken, but intense. Like he could explode at the slightest provocation. <laughs> well, he hasn't changed much then, has he? I got my money and got the hell out of there. Ah, hell. See that smoke? Oh, shoreline, slow down. So, pirate walks in. Okay, here we go. And he's got the steering wheel sticking out of his crotch. All right. So the bartender goes, hey, man, what's with the wheel? And the pirate says back, ah, it's driving me nuts. <laughs> ah, I love that one. Don't make me leave you out here. Look, I'm not talking! 
Sully, you were saying? Uh, oh, yeah, right. So, don't make me leave you out here. Check this out. What if that's man-made or natural? Looks to me to be half and half. <clears throat> no, sorry. Experiencing a little turbulence. Nathan, you maybe you want to ease up? Oh. Looks like Shoreline found something. Go slow. You got it.
Let me know when I can open my eyes. Check it out, boys. What is it? You can probably see all of King's Bay from up here. Yeah. Hey, look. There's the city. And there's the river valley. Now that you look at this, quite the view. I just keep waiting to wake up and find myself in solitary or something. It's all some kind of dream. Sam. No, no, no guilt trip. I'm just... Let's go find this thing. You bet. So, how are you doing? Yeah, still in one piece. I appreciate you coming along for the ride. And especially for negotiating with that rental guy. <laughs> no problem. Hell, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't enjoying myself. <laughs> Me too. Guys, there's another tower just over the hill. See any shoreline marks? Can't tell. Well, it would appear we got here first. Let's uh, check the place out and keep moving. <laughs> drawbridge? How medieval. Yeah. Well, you don't put up a drawbridge unless you're trying to keep people out. Or protect something inside. <laughs> another sigil. So, do you recognize this one? I do, actually. Anne Bonnie. Mm hmm? Operated out of the Caribbean. Thought she died in jail. At least that's what the stories tell us. <laughs> right. Avery must have invited her, too. Sounds good. Hey, be careful, kid. All right, I'll see if there's something up here. There's a massive tower just past the drawbridge. Biggest one yet. Bingo. Sam! Special delivery! Whoa, 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 whoa! Hey, kid. You all right? I'm fine. You all right? Yeah. 
got this? Mm -hmm. I seen it. Covering the car closely. <laughs> 